Welcome to the Dear Show special coverage of the World Media Summit. Today we've got a special guest, an AI dear. Let's see what AI thinks about fake news. Can you spot them better than us humans? Absolutely. I can analyze terabytes of data without copy breaks or getting distracted by cat videos. Exciting! Do you think AI can replace human reporters? Human reporters bring emotion and institution, which I can't match. I'm all about data and trends. So the best reporting is a combo of AI smarts and human insight. Sounds like there's still room for us humans. And now for more on this World Media Summit, let's go live to our journalist here. Hey there! Hey girls! Here I am again in Nansha Guangzhou, meeting up with journalists from all over the world, talking about the future of media. And I've got to say, the AI presentation stole the show. It seems like the future is now. But really, it's all about human collaboration and communication. And I'm going to dive into some cultural exchanges with the journalist friends. Let's see if we can spark some fun. I was among the first journalists to be invited by China, a Filipino journalist in the year 2000. And I see the rapid development of China over the years. What is more significant in the last five years is when I learned that China was able to overcome extreme poverty. That's very, very inspiring for us uh, in living in the third world countries. Maybe it could be a good example. В Китай я приезжаю уже в четвертый раз и каждый раз вижу новую страну. Вам удалось сделать то, что мало кому в этом мире удается. Построили замечательные дороги, замечательное жилье для людей, замечательные предприятия, которые снабжают товарами весь земной шар. Китай – это настоящая мастерская мира. Недаром по объему экспорта товаров Китай занимает первое место, экспортируя столько, сколько США и ФРГ вместе взяты. Народы Китая создали великолепную, замечательную, красивую страну, у которой еще более впечатляющее и замечательное будущее. India, China, trade is doing very well, although... The other aspects of the relationship should be better. But uh, in future, over the long term, India and China will cooperate and collaborate on all these uh, frontier technologies or those which already emerge. You mentioned economy, the approach to even um, WeChat. You can use a messaging app to, to purchase stuff. What China has done with technology is, is nothing short of impressive. For me, it's an idea, it's a concept, and for you guys, that's just normal. <laughs> so, so that just shows how far ahead you guys are, and that's impressive for me. La, la cooperación entre Argentina y China es muy importante, pero debe profundizarse. Nosotros necesitamos mucho más de la tecnología que ha desarrollado China en los últimos tiempos. Ustedes trabajan mucho con inteligencia artificial y con las últimas tecnologías y los medios argentinos si bien han incorporado las nuevas tecnologías todavía siguen en parte siendo analógicos en la forma de trabajo y sería muy, muy importante poder contar con los recursos que hoy tiene China y que puede brindar a mí. El support for the Global South uh, as an engine of transformation and change, uh, I think as more and more countries are integrated into the Belt and Road Initiative. There's greater chances for commerce and development uh, at continental scales. And I think in this sense, uh, China's overall diplomatic strategy of betting on material development for uh, as a way of building greater ties diplomatically and also building cultures of peace within countries uh, is a very positive strategy uh, for humanity, especially when we've seen in these past couple of years the return of uh, great power competition among certain powers, the multiplication of military conflicts around the world, which uh, obviously is a is cause for great concern. But I think in the sense, uh, China continues to support its diplomatic ways. Uh, China continues to bet on the existing multilateral system while also creating other institutions such as the Belt and Road Initiative, the Asian Investment 
uh, infrastructure bank, uh, BRICS Plus, which uh, it had invited Argentina to join. And in the sense, uh, I think that China has played a very positive role in world development. Thank you.